This is Pasties Herb. We are a team on an assignment to build the fate of men and set their hearts on fire through the media system. With hundreds of insightful videos here on our channel, we hope to bless and bond with you. Don't forget to click the like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe. We love and celebrate you. Do you know before Smith Wigglesworth died? I'll share with you some stories today. Before Smith Wigglesworth died, when he was laying hands on Lester Sumro, he told him something. He said, look, make sure you don't die with your anointing. He said, look for young men that are serious and transfer this anointing to them. And then he laid hands on him and began to prophesy. He said, I see a generation. A generation that what we have done will look like a step out of the cave compared to what they are doing. Apostle Babalola, CAC. You see, there are many denominations today that don't, do not even believe what their founders live for. Apostle Babalola, he was said, listen, he was said that that guy was so powerful. A time came when he was preaching and he started lifting, literally. See, the water that, the concept of holy water came from him. He was thirsty, praying on a mountain. And there was no water and he struck the rock and said, let water come. Men. They are the type you say men to. Not, 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 not the, the, the people who are saying men. We are, we are called, you call us children. Am I challenging you? Do you know? Apostle Babalola was moving. There was a council. Now, this one, I attended a pastor's conference by Apostle A.T.B. Williams in Kafanchang. Emmanuel Kure's conference. And, and he was saying this. He said that Apostle Babalola, when they wanted to call him, when people said, there's a gentleman that had the fire of God, there were certain elders, like seven or eight of them. They said they don't believe he's called. Look at the miracles that this man was doing. They said they are not yet convinced that he has the anointing. In other words, this guy is still a joker. He's playing ministry. All of them prayed. And a few said, actually, they have received confirmation. The elders refused. They say, until God speaks to every one of them, one by one, before they were agreed. One day, they were praying together. And there was a madman running and disturbing people in the street. And Apostle Babalola just came out from the forest. He was just moving in the city. Not going for a program. No protocol no mic he was just meandering around the street and that guy came out and people were running yard matches and was driving people and then the elders were watching the lord told them to watch and they were watching through the window and apostle baba when the madman came close to him he said but you are not mad now he collected his matches he said sit down here please that was how those men confirmed that god really called this guy now how do we confirm that god has called a man Once you just see a guy that is handsome, he looks like Eliab, you just say, surely. Surely. And see, you see ministers and the body of Christ, there is no pressure whatsoever on us to press for more. You look at a man of God and see that he's absolutely satisfied. You even hear some men of God say, I'm so fulfilled. And he's showing you his watch. I'm so fulfilled. There are sick people coming. There are oppressed people coming. And Jesus caused that victory. He said, because you have deceived me. You made me to come all the way. You made me to do everything I'm doing. And you have been deceiving many like that. Let me tell you, there are many people that God himself would dethrone out of ministry. And out of certain places of honor. Because if we keep deceiving God's people. And claiming, come for miracle service. Are the people really receiving miracles? Or do we just celebrate one miracle? A fractured hand got healed. When I was watching what the media people played, I tell you, I, I was happy, but I was angry at the same time. Or a robot healed people to a point that he was tired. They just prayed on a mountain and told people to come and touch it. That's the real me. Now, people drink one gallon of water and nothing happens. He said, drink it, prophetic water. You drink it, 
you, 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 they say take, come and buy a special. I saw a man of God praying for one woman. The anointing oil is like this, 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 uh, uh, swear, this pure tag bottle. He poured some on her head. Told her to pour some. Hi. What men of God do to people? And ask her to drink everything. That's how she drank in my presence. It was on, on TV. Drank everything. The man said, yes. If you drink oil like that, you will be sick. You will be very sick. We spend over 30 minutes trying to minister to one person. Look at Jesus. I will be made clean. Come on. He saw the demons go and they left. What is wrong? Am I? Is the only me that is having this anger? Many of you are saying, I won't be a man of God. Please turn and face these people. Say, I believe the word of God. The second key. Your faith can be seen, friends. The second key. I'll share this quickly and we'll pray. This is one of the reasons why many people do not gain the anointing to command results. 